a lot of women, especially black women, and mm -hmm. I might get in trouble for saying this, but I will, in the in in our society right now, mm -hmm. black women are making a lot more money for the most part than yeah. black men, right? There are a lot of black men who are successful, but for the most part, black women are making the money. So you, if you can find love, if that man works, you know, at whatever job, mm -hmm. and is a good man. And is good to you, mm -hmm. and honors and honors the house, and honors his wife, and does what he can, mm -hmm. because his his gift may not be your gift. Exactly. That is okay. Mm -hmm. That's not somebody who's beneath you. Yeah. That's somebody who came to love you at your worth, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And as long as he's secure in himself to mm -hmm. know that, yep, she makes most of the money. All I can pay is the light bill. As long as she's comfortable enough to say, I'm going to cover the mortgage and all the other stuff. You can the light bill, baby. You can take me to dinner every now and then. Mm -hmm. That is fine. Yeah. That's fine. Mm -hmm. For the first time in my life, it seems as though I'm aligning myself with Tyler Perry. The only movie that I ever really cared for that Tyler Perry produced, and this is no shade on him as a businessman and as a person that has built up community. I think that Tyler Perry should be celebrated for his business acumen, for continuing to put money in people's pocket, for building a studio down in Atlanta, for accomplishing the things that he's accomplished and growing his business based off of his own hard work and things like that versus asking for a handout. I think that Tyler Perry is a great businessman. When it comes to cultural significance, I think that Tyler Perry, eh, I'm not really sure that, you know what I'm saying, I align with the putting on addresses and everything like that. But this is the first time that I've ever seen women really turn on Tyler Perry. I mean, so much so that I've been getting countless emails and DMs for me to react to this. And so I'm doing so. And then Tyler Perry just basically broke down the dynamics between actually being in a marriage and that nobody looks at the other one as above the other one. But what we see happening in relationships today is that everybody think that they're in a partnership and it's a completely different thing. And this is what I keep trying to tell people on a regular basis is that you have no clue or idea what you're talking about when it comes to being successfully married. And I agree with them, mainly from two perspectives, right? The first perspective that I agree with Tyler Perry from is that if we are now changing the dynamics of what a relationship or more importantly, a marriage looks like, then we have to start having a conversation about what modern marriage and modern relationships uh, should be based off of the fact that women are now considered equal. They now are making a significant more amount of money than men, a lot of different women. I'm not saying all, obviously, because if you look at the census, then that's painting a completely different picture. But if you look at what people are saying, you a boss chick, you got your own money, you do your own thing, you don't care about what anybody says, you should be equal, you should be able to be head of household, you should be consulted when it comes to the decisions. So why are we not all inclusive when it comes to the dynamics as far as finances, when it comes to a relationship? The one thing that I'm very much confused about from women, and I know why you do it, but I'm confused as to why your mindset is, is hell bent on this is why is it convenient for you to be masculine or for you to be the head of the household when it comes to emasculation or what it is that you want to do as far as having the freedom to do what you want to do but then when it comes to being responsible for other people the things that men have been doing for years because that's true equal right that's truly being equal and, and having equality we then want to lean back into your femininity i don't understand that I'm very much confused. So, you know, two things. A, he's right and that the dynamic should change and that if you are in a quote unquote partnership, because that's what y'all said that y'all wanna be in, y'all don't believe in gender roles, it's everybody is equal, I'm just as much. Listen, if that is what it is, then that means that you have to truly remove yourself from thinking that you better than the other person because her value and your value is supposed to be the same regardless of how much money you make. So take on that traditional role of being a man since you want to operate in your masculinity and you shouldn't be looking for it. So you remember when y'all said that you shouldn't be looking at a relationship based off of money and that don't matter and all of that. But now it does all of a sudden when you got to pay the bills. And this is the thing that women are starting to turn against Tyler Perry for. See, when he got real and he stopped pandering to y'all or he stopped removing himself from the conversation and he started expressing what he really feel, then y'all start feeling a certain type of way, right? When he said that, listen, if you really wanna lean into the love aspect of it, then stop holding yourself better than him and start paying them bills and then focus on what it is that y'all need to build together instead of who make the most money.
right? The other side of it is, is being successfully married, you remove yourself from the idea that, right? The idea that you bring in 50, he bring in 50. And I talked about this on the live stream last night with Logic and Q on Hey Q show and all of that, right? Because you got to bring 100, 100. And so if it's all going into the pot, then that means that what yours is, is mine. And what mine's is yours. And it doesn't matter if you make more money than me because it's mine's anyway. So go out there and go and get my check, go and get my money and stop having conversations about who you think you are or why you need a man to match your energy, right? Because you don't need a guy to match your energy when he's better than you, you looking for a come up. You need a guy to match your energy when all of a sudden you start to do a little bit better than you thought that you was gonna do. And now all of a sudden you need a man to make as much money as you. That's wild to me. And so I think that women are, are outside of their mind, right? I think that they they are true definitions of chameleons, even to the point to where they'll turn against the people that they supported or the people that they thought that they was rocking with for an extended period of time in order to continue to maintain that uh, feminine dominant nature that we then lean into called feminism, right? They want to conveniently switch up and basically code switch depending on the circumstance or the situation that they find themselves in. If they can make more money than you or they can get into a relationship with you, then what's hers is hers and what's yours is theirs. If they can find themselves a partnership where they can, they can get a come up, it's all cool, right? If they're lower than you as far as on that financial pay scale, then they're looking for a man to take care of them and they want to be a stay-at-home mom. But then if they, they decide that they want it to level up and they want it to work as hard as a man or be in corporate America or start to get to the bag, then all of a sudden it doesn't make sense for them to be in it or look at it from a love perspective. They start to look at it from a business perspective. Which one is it going to be? Either you for him or against you. Either you with Tyler Perry and you rocking with his mindset because he gave you Medea an address and Medea goes to the family reunion or you're not with him, right? Either you want equal or you don't. Either what you want to operate within masculine frame or you want to operate in your feminine frame. But you can't pick and choose when it's convenient to you. I completely agree. I think that now we need to start reimagining what relationships look like based off of the new standards that you guys have set as far as what you advocated for and men should start living a soft life. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description. Also, get that Teach Hanley 30% off your first order plus a free gift. I'm curious as to what you guys think. Do you align with Tyler Perry on this issue as far as the fact that women should stop looking at men if they make more money than them as what can you do for me and start leaning into it based off of love because that's what it's all about and building that relationship versus being in a space where they are they are always looking for a man that's better than them regardless of the circumstance that they're in and they're looking for traditional roles when it's convenient i'm curious as to what you guys think make sure you tune into the millionaire morning show if you didn't last night make sure you watch that q a show not the q a show the hey q show we just rebranded and gave it a different name make sure you watch that show from last night it, it was a great show we had all of the people up there kicking it, rocking out. Q is a great curator of people on a great show. Uh, producer, I love you. I appreciate you. I'm going to holler at you on the Millionaire Morning Show today. Peace.